If you're tired of killing aliens, zombies, and or Russian terrorists, then Binary Domain just might be for you. In Sega's futuristic squad shooter, you won't actually fire a shot at a single living thing. Just waves upon waves of mechanical maniacs hell-bent on your extinction. Its iRobot-inspired plot makes for a fresh and often thrilling experience, with only a handful of negatives holding it back from greatness. Binary Domain takes place in Tokyo in the year 2080. The Yamada Corporation, one of the industry leaders in robotics technology, has begun producing humanoid robots that are gradually assimilating their way into the human population. It's up to you, Sergeant Dan Marshall, and a customizable squad of multinational mercenaries to infiltrate Amada and put a stop to the android production before it's too late for mankind. The fight against Amada's robot army takes place in a variety of Neo-Tokyo settings, from the shattered slums and sewers of the city's underground to the sun-kissed skyline of its affluent upper reaches. The man versus machine story is compelling, although the dialogue delivered by the main characters is pretty B-grade. Not unusual for an action game, perhaps, but these characters are so stereotypical, I started to think they were all androids, especially with cringeworthy catchphrases like this. Everybody alive? Holler if you're dead. <laughs> Look at that! The armor peeled off! Binary Domain's core gameplay mechanics will be instantly familiar for anyone who's played a cover-based shooter before. You can blind fire, roadie run, hop between cover, you know the drill. Beyond the notable inability to turn corners whilst in cover, and a slightly limp-feeling melee attack, the control setup works and works well. What makes Binary Domain's otherwise boilerplate brand of combat enjoyable is the type of enemies you face. Forget about the bullet sponges that so often inhabit games of this type. The destructible nature of Binary Domain's robotic foes gives a tangible sense of the damage inflicted by each bullet you fire. Armor shreds into scattered pieces of shrapnel, legs are blown off leaving enemies to drag themselves along with all the relentlessness of a Terminator. Given that you're essentially facing off against an army of glorified appliances, it's somewhat surprising just how violent it all feels. Blasting robots is awesome. The action never stagnates either. When you're not shooting at robots, you're surfing on robots, getting chased by robots, even climbing inside a robot in order to use it as a de facto mech. There are plenty of imposing bosses to take down along the way, and the game's 10-hour campaign hurdles along at a breakneck pace. Yeah! Binary Domain has two other major gameplay features of note. One is the voice command system for your squad mates, which allows you to wear a headset and speak basic orders like cover me and wait. This function is either kind of goofy or incredibly awesome, depending on your attitude towards voice recognition. But the bottom line is that it actually works far more often than not, and if you don't like it, you can still give commands with a streamlined set of controller inputs instead. The game also features a relationship system between you and your squad mates, which is affected directly by your actions during battle and your responses during a conversation. Be good to your squad and they'll obey your orders. Piss them off, and they'll be less helpful in a firefight. Later on! I will do so I'll later. Do later! It's an interesting idea, but it ultimately feels pretty superficial, as you really have to go out of your way to get them offside, and unless you're a completely unreasonable jerk, then chances are you'll lead a happy band of brothers and sisters throughout. Unfortunately, Binary Domain doesn't support co-op play for the main campaign. Instead, the multiplayer mode offers the usual death matches and capture the flag variants, as well as a survival mode called Invasion. It's all totally playable, but nothing we haven't seen before. Ironically, for a game about the eradication of androids posing as humans, Binary Domain is itself a form of replicant. It convincingly apes the behaviours of the best shooters on the market, but its augmentations feel noticeably artificial. Yet while the voice command and trust systems are slightly undeveloped, Binary Domain doesn't hang its hat on them. Even without the gimmicks, this is an enjoyable, albeit derivative, shooter that any self-respecting sci-fi fan should check out. For more on Binary Domain, be sure to check IGN.com.